We're here at Taylor Guitars, and I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to remove the strings and reinstall the strings on your Taylor guitar. Here at the factory, we use Elixir NanoWeb acoustic strings on all of our 6-string and 12-string acoustics, as well as the Elixir electric strings on our solid body electrics. Let's get started with this. I'm going to show you how simple it is. Grab the string and put a little bit of tension on it. We're going to come up to our peg winder, and we're going to loosen the string, keeping tension. We're going to do this for each string. By doing this, we're the ones in control of the guitar. Great, now we have all six of our strings loose. We're going to grab our side cutters now and using them as a little lever, gently come up to your pins here. Lift them up and take them out. Now this is a very simple process. This, this doesn't take any effort. The side cutters are going to help you. Simple, on the, the peg, out it comes. On the peg, out it comes. By doing it this way, it really keeps you from damaging the instrument. Taking the strings out of the bridge is very simple. We're going to put tension back on the string, and the string is going to lift right out of the hole. Coming up to the headstock now, be careful on this because this is a coiled string and it could come back at you, but the way we put on our strings, which is really nice, the few amount of winds we do and we don't do any tying of the string, so it makes the string come off very easily as you can see here. Just a nice easy wrap and the string will come right out for you. Be careful of the slap back of these strings. Now with the strings off the guitar, we're going to do something here that's going to help the guitar stay in tune when you reinstall the strings. We're going to use our 10 millimeter nut driver. We're going to go over to the top of the tuner post here, and you have the tuner button, and we're going to tighten down this little nut right here. By doing this, it's going to snug the post down, and it's going to help the guitar stay in tune. Now don't crush your headstock, just lightly tighten it, just to make sure it's nice and snug. We're ready to install our strings, and a really nice thing that Elixir does for us on the packaging is they line the strings up from E to E, so this makes it nice and simple. We're going to start with our high E. Now it comes wrapped like this, so be careful when you're unwinding it. Just nice and gentle, and let it unwind. Putting the string in, there's a little groove in the bridge pin. Slide the string into the bridge, right into its area. Put the groove side in, and then lock the string in. That's really important. That helps this bridge pin from flying out of the guitar. I prefer using putting in all six at one time, so we're just going to continue on. The reason why we do this, it allows us to make sure that all of our strings are connected. Did you hear that snap right there? That's what I was talking about. Once again, the groove lined up with the string. Put the string in, lock it, and then pull it. And you'll hear that snap. That's allowing the ball end of that string to lock right to the pin plate. That's a real important part of keeping a guitar in tune. Go, it snapped in there really nice. All right, all six of our strings are now installed into the bridge. We're ready to wind the strings onto the post. I'm going to start with my low E here. Now the trick is you got to keep a little bit of tension on the string. We have to manipulate the string. The string can't manipulate us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come up to my A post for my low E string. So we go to the next post for each string. Low E, come up, and at Taylor Guitars, we clip it at that point. Now, if you're worried about that, don't. You can come up and you can bend the string, and then you can slide it through and start winding it. But what we do here is we'll cut it, 
We're going to line the string up into the post. And I'll slowly start winding the string. Now, notice that the winds are going down. We don't want to wind over the top. So every wind is underneath each other. And by cutting the string where we did, you can see that there's about two and a half winds for the low E string. Now each string is going to be in succession the same way. We're going to come up to the A, do the same, A string, come up to our D post, and trim it. But like we said, you could put the bend in it and go that route. Line it up. Slowly get it started. Now you notice the tension I'm keeping here? I'm putting a little bit of tension with my thumb. I've got tension here with my finger, and that's allowing me to manipulate the string. Once again, the winds are going underneath each other. Now we have to think about is we have to imagine that there's another post here, or you can come up, circle around it, and then grab it. So do you see that here? Come up, circle it back, and then you know where to cut it. Once again, that little bit of tension, by doing this, that's keeping the string inside there, and it doesn't want to pull out on me. Installing the treble strings, it's exactly the same as the bass strings. Our only difference is the length of the string. And the reason we go a little bit further, so as we talked about on the bass strings, we went up a post. We're going to go a post and a quarter to a post and a half. And what that allows for is a couple of more winds, and that gets us below the hole of the tuner post, and that keeps the string from breaking. Your strings will last you longer. So I'm going to come up, cut it, line up the string, and slowly wind it again. Now remember, we're keeping the winds below each other, just like the other side. And then when we're done, we have a few more winds, and it keeps us below the circle there. And that's going to keep our string from breaking over time. Come up to the B, same thing. There's your B post here, a little bit further. Now, we talked about it before. You could also put the kink at the string at that time, slide it through, and wind it. It'd be no problem. You'll end up with the same result. Slowly wind it. Winds underneath each other. Same thing again, a little bit of tension again, just like on the bass side, no difference. We're manipulating the string. We have all six strings on now. We're ready to tune the guitar and stretch the strings. We're going we're gonna to tune it up and then just do a light stretch. Don't worry about getting it perfectly in tune at this point because we are going to stretch it. I use a tuning fork. Digital tuner is going to work just fine, either or, whichever way you want to go. Tuning fork on the bridge. And like I said, we're not too concerned about being perfectly in tune yet, because we are going to stretch our strings. Stretching the strings is probably one of the most important parts of keeping your guitar in tune after you've changed your strings. And I think this is one of the uh, the biggest mysteries of changing a string, why people say it may take two weeks for my guitar to stay in tune. Chances are this is a step that's missed. I'm going to grab the string and just a light stretch. Right from the sound hole, this allows my hand to get up under the string. I'm going to do each one of them here. Said so we're doing a light stretch. We don't want to break the string. We just want to stretch it. Okay, grab the tuning fork again. You can see how flat those strings went. One more stretch. One more stretch and it should really help you out. Nice and light. 
And what we're going to find, some strings will probably stay in tune, others may need just a little bit. This guitar is ready to play. It's going to hold tune very well, and it was that simple. I know you can do it. Stringing a 12 string is exactly the same as the 6 string. You have one difference. Instead of the one post that we went to on the 6 string, we go up two posts for the 12 string. That is the only difference. You're going to end up with the same amount of wind on the post, and here's how that's done. We're going to do the octave string here. We're going to come up two posts and clip it. Take our string, put it in our hole, same winder, one under the other, same thing on the winds, nice and slow, and it's complete. Restringing a slot head is exactly the same as the six string. The only difference is this. When we pull the string up, we want to come up to a post and a half difference. And when we wind the string, we want to take it from the inside to the outside of the post. Cut the string to length, into the hole, and lightly wind it, like we said, from the inside to the outside. Installing the strings on our electric guitar is very simple. What you're going to want to do here is just put a slight bend in the string. That's going to help you get the string through the tailpiece. So it comes up, that comes through nice and easy with that bend. Watch that again. Comes in and it comes right through. Now hold the string to here and then slide it through. If we hold it and we let it go, you could ding your guitar from this slapping down. So I highly suggest here and just let it come through. You won't scratch the top of your guitar. Winding the string on the electric, once again, it's going to be the exact same as our six-string acoustics. We're going to come up to the post, to the next post, which is our A, and we're going to clip it. We're going to line it up, keeping that tension we talked about, slowly wind the string, keeping the winds underneath each other. It's complete.